Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Now, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I don't want to, um, you know, just keep hitting on the same topic over and over again. I don't want to, um, you know, unfairly kind of critique a player, a team, a situation, anything like that. But I do feel like we need to talk about perks again. I know I already made, you know, my perks is finished video and that video did pretty well. Obviously, there's people on both sides, um, you know, got some likes, got some good comments, got some dislikes, got some negative comments. And that's totally what I expect um, and that's totally fine you know when there is discussions uh, and hotly debated topics there's gonna be people on both sides you know I'd prefer if you don't send random hate comments and dislike the video um, because just because you disagree doesn't mean the video is bad but hey whatever um, but anyway, after I made that Perks is Finished video, that was just after their first game. Um, you know, that was after the Mad Lions game where things didn't go so well. But then they played two more games after that. Uh, and I think we just need to talk about Perks and this Vitality team as a whole and kind of what's going on with them, uh, especially headed into this second LEC week. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate that a ton. Uh, subscribe to up to date on all my latest content and consider checking out the merch. First link in the description below. Uh, an awesome way to help support my channel and my content. With that being said... Let's get right into this. So obviously, Vitality is the super team. Perks is uh, what we assume to be the highest paid player on this team. We know he has um, some kind of pretty significant salary plus some kind of pretty significant buyout that Vitality had to pay um, just to get him from Cloud9 because he is... Uh, you know, the best Western player of all time, depending on who you ask. Obviously, some people are in the Caps group, some people are in the Perks group, but um, he's for sure, at least in the conversation, he's been very, very impressive. Um, I know that I've been very vocal, and a lot of other people have as well, that he didn't play that well with Cloud9 last year, but still, they were able to get enough results. Um, they were able to win an LCS title. They were able to get out of groups at World. So, so people were still giving him a chance, you know, re returning to the LEC, all of this stuff. Um, and so far, things have not gone great. And uh, it was this meme last year that, um, you know, somebody made this thread on Reddit that was like, perks need to be held accountable. You know, he is the second highest paid player in the LCS. He has all this hype. He came in and trash talked the LCS. He said, you know, everyone was going to suck. He was going to be the best mid laner, the best player it was going to be easy and then he came to the lcs and it looked anything but easy he went to msi his team bombed out of msi uh his team really struggled in the summer split uh and then things after that post things turned around a little bit for cloud nine you know cloud nine ended up ending the summer split kind of strong they end up getting the three seed at worlds they beat tsm in a five game series and tsm you know was not that great of a team last year uh and then obviously they go to worlds start out not very hot at worlds they end up making out of groups you know we all know what happened um but there was this real back and forth you know there's this meme of the lcs fan saying hey perks needs to be held accountable he he talked all this trash we're paying him all this money he's not producing up to these standards and then there's the eu fans and the perks fans and, and some cloud nine fans that are like okay, you guys are idiots, he won a title, he, he got out of groups at Worlds, he's helping this trash region, you know, achieve all these uh, all these great things, you know, he, he's done everything he said he was going to do, um, but now, I, I think it's funny that EU fans, Vitality fans, whatever, they're getting a little taste of their own medicine, and now, you know, more and more people are starting to say, uh, maybe that Perks needs to be held accountable after all, because again, he's in that same situation, he's making a ton of money for Team Vitality over in Europe, they don't usually drop a ton of money, they don't go for these crazy buyouts, they don't pay these crazy salaries, um, but Perks is a guy seemed uh, deemed as worth it, because he brings in a crazy fan base, he brings in crazy viewership, you're going to sell a ton of jerseys, your content's going to pop off, and you're getting one of the best players in Western history. But uh, I found this banger tweet or it came across my timeline or whatever. Um, this is Perks highlights of week one in the LEC. Some of his best plays from the week. Thanks for watching. There you guys have it. There was Perks' highlights from week one. I thought that that was hilarious. This tweet is 3,100 likes from um, a guy I've never heard of before. He has 1,000 followers. I don't know who it is, but uh, yeah, I don't know. He makes memes apparently, and this was a banger. This one popped off, and it was just super, super funny. I had to throw it in the video, um, but when we take a look at the Vitality game from week one, again, this is supposed to be the best team in the West, as said by a lot of people in their preseason power rankings. Uh, and getting off in the first game, you know, I already broke this one down really, really in depth in a video. Um, check that out. It's called like Perks is Finished, I'm, I'm pretty sure, from earlier in the week. Um, you know, he plays the Oxon in this game. Uh, he goes 0 6 4. This was a very, very bad game. He has a handful of mechanical mistakes and moments where he just makes straight up blunders, um, champion specific and non champion specific. Um, and he is constantly pushing forward without vision. I know I talked about how self 
himself made probably could have helped him with vision a little bit um but you know perks himself wasn't warding he wasn't respecting ganks uh yeah kind of weird and then people have said hey mad lions they might be one of the best teams in the lec we'll give them a pass yeah, but Reeker himself, personally, the mid laner for Mad Lions, has not looked that strong to start the season. So if Perks is really, you know, this MVP of the LEC, potentially the best mid in the West, potentially the best player in the West, I would think you'd have a little bit better showing, especially in the 1v1 matchup against Reeker. But whatever, first game of the season, get the rust out, whatever. Now they play against Fnatic, and in this game, Vitality actually looked really, really good in the early game. They almost won this game, they probably should have won this game. But they didn't, you know, we can speculate on what would have, could have, should have happened, whatever. They didn't win. Perks went 1-1-3 one, one, and three on Twisted Fate. He had 4 out of 16 kill participation for his team. Didn't really do much of anything, you know. He didn't have an objectively, like, bad game. You know, he didn't have any, like, clearly terrible moments or terrible plays or anything like that. But he didn't do anything good. He just didn't really do anything. I know I tweeted after this game, like... I really didn't even notice that Perks was in that game, and for good reason. You know, he, he really didn't do anything. And maybe you can say, hey, Twisted Fate, there wasn't much he could do in this situation. Yeah, his team threw. Hey, he got him into the winning position. They didn't close the deal. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. But, you know, at best, I think you can say this was like a wash game for Perks. He was just a non-factor. Didn't play bad. But I wouldn't call this a good game for him either. And then we get in this third game against Excel. You know, whatever. We played Mad Lions. We played Fnatic. Let's say they're the two best teams in the LEC. We're at least going to smash Excel, um, you know, to to end the week and, and at least go one and two and have some momentum going into the next week. Um, and in this game, Perks goes 2-2-2 two, two, two on Vex, um, which, you know, at first sight, you might be like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, I think that's okay. But understanding, this was Vex into LeBlanc. This is a very, very Vex-favored matchup. We actually saw um, Sirtis and Larson playing this matchup earlier in the weekend. Uh, and obviously, many people would consider Larson to be a much stronger mid laner than Sirtis. Um, but Sirtis was playing the Vex into Larson's LeBlanc and was constantly harassing him, constantly poking him out. Uh, I don't believe he ever solo killed him, but he got pretty dang close a couple of times. Um, you know, for sure, Larson was getting his passive popped. He was getting forced out of lane. Uh, and I believe the matchup actually went about even in CS, which was very, very impressive to me from the side of Larson. Um, but it was clear the, li the, the, the matchup was very Vex favored. Vex felt very comfortable and safe playing against LeBlanc. And that is not what we saw in this matchup between Perks and Nuke Duck. I don't know if it was at 10 or 15 minutes, but um, sometime in that, you know, early getting into mid game phase, Perks was down 40 CS on the Vex into LeBlanc. He was not um, constantly harassing LeBlanc. He was not making it look like an advantageous matchup. He was not making it look like a counter pick. Uh, and this just overall was not a good game. You know, again, he didn't have an objectively bad score line. He didn't like int the game way or anything like that, but he had the counter pick. He had the advantageous matchup and he was just simply not taking advantage of it. He was simply not playing better than Nuke Duck, playing better than his opposition. And this caused Vitality to lose again, going 0-3. When we take a look at the stats, um, so far into the LEC season, yes, this is just three games tiny 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 sample size everything could change you really shouldn't read into any of this too much anyway but when we take a look at these stats kda perks is last in the league kill participation perks is last in the league this is uh when compared to other mid laners so far um we have uh actually percentage of his team's deaths he's actually not that high up because his whole team has been dying a lot uh but you know he has as well so hey He's not dying, you know, disproportionately so compared to his teammates, which, hey, maybe that's a good thing. Um, but when we take a look at laning stats, gold differential at 10, dead last in the league, and it's not even close. He's minus 526 gold at 10 minutes, and the next lowest is minus 154. That is insane. XP differential at 10, 523, and the next closest is 261. CSD at 10, perks is last yet again, minus 9.3 CSD at 10 on average through three games. This is rough. And again, I thought Perks was not good last year for Cloud9. You know, I thought he had good moments. He had great games. He had a lot of good games. He had a lot of okay games. I don't think he had many great games. I don't think he had many egregiously terrible games. Um, so, you know, I, I didn't think like Perks was washed up. or I didn't think like he was going to come and absolutely suck for Vitality or anything like that. Um, but I will say, you know, most people would agree that the LEC is probably an overall stronger league than the LCS. And the L LEC mid lane pool is probably a lot stronger overall in the LCS. So the fact that he struggled in the LCS... Um, it was not a great sign coming back to the LEC and maybe there's even been some regression from last year. You know, maybe he's at the same level. Maybe he'll get better as this year goes on, but maybe he continues this downward, downward trend that we've seen from him for the past couple of years. Maybe 
he won't be a top five mid laner in the LEC this year. You know, I know that sounds crazy, but again, so far, this is what we've seen from him. Based on last year and based on this year, things are not pointing in the right direction. Things are not going well. Um, and I know some people are like, oh, I can't believe you're hating on Perk so much. Oh, I can't believe there's this much hate on the channel. This is so negative. I'm unsubscribing, you know, yada, yada, yada. That's fine. If that is hate to you, if that is so crazy or ridiculous to you that makes you want to unsubscribe, that is totally fine. You should unsubscribe at that point. These are just discussions. We are just talking about what's going on. We're talking about the games that we're watching and breaking down. If Perks was absolutely smurfing, if he was shitting on everybody, I'd be telling you how awesome Perks is and how he's the best player in Western history and how Vitality is going to go win a world championship this year. But that is simply not what is happening. Uh, and I don't think it's toxic or bad or BM to break down what we're seeing. You know, at the end of the day, I'm covering news. I'm covering the stories. I'm trying to analyze what is actually happening. And so far through through three games, there's a case to be made that Perks has been the worst mid laner in the LEC. Uh, and again, he, yes, he, he deserves time to be able to turn that around. He deserves time to be able to prove us wrong, whatever. But he also needs to be held accountable for what is happening and, and, and his level of play that, again, for the third straight split is uh, at least starting out not looking so good but that is pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. i would appreciate that so so much uh leave a comment down below let me know what you think about perks in this whole situation do you think he needs to be held accountable or do you think um that he's doing just fine and, and this is okay and hey he's gonna turn it around and just don't worry about it quit tripping i don't know i'd love your guys thoughts and opinions subscribe stay up to date on all my latest content hope to catch you guys in the next one but until then peace